Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. It has been a while, friends. Um, it's been it's been too long. It really has. Uh, I've missed making videos. I've missed the Magic Gathering community. Um, I've still kind of been there on social media, uh, popping in every now and then just to check on things and to uh, I've given a few updates on where the channel uh, is hopefully heading and how I've been personally. Um, but yeah, with me needing the break for my mental health and then Corona hitting right afterwards, um, it just, it made for a, a long and somewhat stressful break. I've really missed this. Uh, so anyways, hopefully we got some uh, good stuff for here today. We're opening a box of Jumpstart. Um, I had another video I made, um, of, uh, Zendikar Rising. I got a set booster. I opened that on camera and something happened with my video software to where the entire video uh, was at going at like maybe five frames per second. I mean, it was bad. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and switch the camera over so you all can watch me open this. Hopefully we pull some good stuff. And then I'm also going to chat a little bit about... Um, where I'm at and where we're going with the channel. So to start off, um, one of the things that has really kept me from jumping in sooner with videos uh, has been that we've got I've got three kids that are in um, what do you call it the online school, um, the teleeducation, and with the older kids it's not that bad. Um, it's uh, what's this? Oh, okay. That's fun. Um, but with my six-year-old, my goodness, it has been... For any of you that are teachers out there, whatever you're paid, it's not enough. It's not. In fact, go ahead and add yourself 25 k a year. That's still not enough. That's It's, it's ridiculous. Um, it has turned into a full-time job for me. So, unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be able to get back into the full swing of things uh, until they go back to face-to-face -face schooling. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, a lot of schools have already went back to face-to-face. -face. Well, we opted to not do that. Our district gave an online option, and we just felt it was safer um, to, to do it from home. Uh, and as of right now, it's looking like it's going to be March uh, before there's even a possibility of our kids going face-to-face. -face. So hopefully around March, I'll be able to uh, get back into making more regular videos. I'm still going to make some... Holy cats, these things are like steel. I'm not used to that. I mean, over the years, the packs have become much more easier to open. So, all right, what do we got here? We got unicorns. I have really have no idea what I'm looking for in this set. Um, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it. I do know there's a few cards that I'm looking for for EDH, but what, I, and I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Blast Sanctuary, the Lightmare. And then I assume these are rest these, these are all commons. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Well, I, I don't think it's a bad start. I don't know exactly where this is at, but I know this is a good one. So, all right, unicorns. Oh, and the, I didn't even notice that. It's got an actual magic card backing. Oh, that's interesting. I might save those for some reason. Um, but anyways, um, it's it's going to be like I said at least March until I can get back to making some some regular videos just because I don't have the time I really don't. Uh, in fact, as I'm making this video right now, my children are outside raking leaves. Uh, I had to leave uh, yard work early <laughs> just so I could have some time uh, to do do this video here. So uh, as for myself, um, I'm doing better. Um, I'm not, we're not we're not there to where I think I should be. I think that should be that. There we go, and then these should be on commons. Um, we've got a ways to go. We've had a really hard time figuring out medications. Uh, for me, for those of you that don't know, um, I was diagnosed bipolar, and uh, it's been uh, an interesting ride. Let's see what we got. We got a windring win. Wind Reader Sphinx in a Sene Serene Serendib Efret. Efret. I know. I'm sorry, folks. I, you know how I pronounce stuff. I'm not good at it. Uh, but anyways, 
Um, we still got a ways. We found a good mix of medication to bring down the severity. Um, it's just been a matter of uh, ooh spirits. It's been a matter of fine tuning it and getting it to work to the point where it uh, reduces my symptoms to the point where I can have a normal functioning life. So, all right, so we're going to go to that. Two right there. See if we got anything cool. Um, ooh. I just, I've always loved Capture Sphere. I know it's not a great card, but I just love it. And lands. All right. Let's see what our first one is. Our first one. Oh, they don't all have two rares, do they? Oh, well, okay then. All right, we got a Battleground Geist for that, and then we got a Shackle Geist. Okay. All right, yeah, I guess they don't all have two rares. Or maybe I got shorter rare. I don't know. So, but anyways, that's how I've been doing. Um, it has been a long, and I'm not going to lie, it's been a very painful road. Um, this is all very new to me. Um, but it is what it is, and we're taking it kind of day by day. So, go there. Ooh, Pyromancer. Shock. Tell you what, these are going to give me some great stuff to build some popper decks with. My youngest. I just got my youngest to start playing. Um, we started off with the, with the popper format simply so it was easier on him. Um, he's only six. So so we got another uh, Chandra's Priling, and that's a not a rare. And then we got a double vision. I guess we just kind of lucked out with the first two packs having double rares. So, all right. Now, when inevitably we do get to go back to face-to-face -to -face and the whole school thing gets back on track, um, I will be doing more videos. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to the way it was before, but um, I'm, I definitely want to get back into doing videos. And I mean, I might even open up Patreon again. We'll see. Good stuff here. Yeah, this is going to make great stuff. Oh, no, that's kind of pretty. That's kind of pretty, yeah. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side because that is just... That's good stuff right there. So, I forgot what I was talking about. I don't know. Oh, another two rares. We've got a Chandra's Incinerator and a Chandra's... Chandra... Heart of Fire. First, or second mythic of the box. Forgot about that first one. All right. And that can go right there. See how we're doing on time. We're not doing too shabby. I don't want to make this one long. I really don't. Especially not just coming back. So, let's see what we got here. Headrun Archive, okay, Juggernaut, Meteor Golem. Ooh, Thirst for Knowledge. I don't know if that's worth anything, but... Let's see if we have any more of those pretty lands. Alright, first one. We got a Buried Ruin, uncommon. And then we got a Scholar of Lost Trove. I'm really hoping for the Allosaur Shepherd. Um, Oracle Moldaya is one I'm looking for. Um, a crater hoof. I've got an EDH deck that I'm putting together that I need those cards for. It would be a lot better if I didn't have to buy them. So, but yeah, hopefully I'll be, um, we'll be back to a lightning bolt. Hopefully we'll be back to normal video stuff come, uh, uh, March, end of March, fingers crossed. This has just been, 2020 has been such a crazy year. First rare, that's not a rare, uh, Homing Lightning. And then we got a Lightning Phoenix. Okay. Yeah, 2020 has just been absolute dumpster fire. It's been horrible. Um, although I will say as of lately, it's been looking up just a little bit. Maybe that's just me. I don't think it is though. All right. Overgrown Battlement. Remember that guy? Wall of Blossoms. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, do we get a forest like that? Come on. I want to see what the forest look like. 
Okay, we got Assault Formation. That's a fun card. And then we got... Ooh, Towering Titan. Another Mythic Rare. Good stuff. I honestly don't know what the, uh, the Rare and the Mythic Ratio for this set is. Um, just because I really haven't opened much of it. And, actually, I've opened none of it. Um, come on now. These packs are just giving me all sorts of trouble here. Okay, there we go. Two. Let's see, we got Nullific Scythe. I like that. Bone Picker. Fun stuff. And no. Okay. We got, ooh, a Languish. That's fun. And then an Ogre Slumlord. Spooky. So, yeah, what have you guys opened up out of this set? I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know what uh, goodies you've opened or what stuff you're hoping to get from this set, if you're going to be opening. Now, I know that I'm a little bit behind the times on this. Um, I've actually had this box sitting for like two months now, month and a half, two months, something like that. Um, I just, like I said, I, I haven't had time. I really haven't. Another thirst for knowledge. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a, another Buried Ruin, and then Scholar of the Lost Trove. That's the second one, isn't it? Yeah, we got two of those. Okay. But, and speaking of stuff coming out, uh, hopefully this, uh, my next video will be more on time. Uh, Commander Legends. Holy cats. Have you all seen the previews for that? I mean, I'm sure, I sure you have, but... That set is just looking bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Ooh. Okay. Nope, we got a Witch's Cauldron. And then... Ooh, dual colored Glissa. Glissa. There we go. Another Mythic. Fun stuff here. Fun stuff. Man, did I ever miss doing this. I really did. I've been having a real hard time not being able to play face-to-face -face magic. Um, there are some stores around me that are still doing it, but... And, and I'm not going to condemn anyone who wants to go out and play. That's your thing. That's, you know, do it. If you want to go out and play, that's absolutely fine. There will be no judgment on my side. Um, but myself, with the health concerns that I have... Um, I do have an autoimmune disorder. Um, I just, we're not comfortable going out in public yet. So, what do we got? We got an Avon Ga Gaggle Master. Interesting. And then we got an Angel of the Dire Hour. Okay. So, I've really, I've really missed the face-to-face -face magic. Um, and I want to say that Come Christmas time, we'll be able to play, or I'll be able to play again. I just don't know if that's going to happen. Dance of the Devils, Chain Brute. Forge Devil. Love those guys. Alright. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Traitorous Greed, Uncommon, with a Zeroth. Zerzoth Chaos Rider. Another rare. But, oh yeah, I completely forgot. Commander Legends. I, I, get, I sidetracked myself. Another devilish. Um, Commander Legends has got some good stuff in it. Um, I'm definitely getting at least a couple boxes. And we'll be opening them here. And I really can't wait to, uh, to play that... Uh, I'm going to be buying uh, some pre-release kits so I can hopefully do some kind of pre-releasing later on in person. But I'm not holding my breath. We got Brash Taunter. Come on, elves. I really want that oracle. I think I've figured out how to open these packs properly now. 
I'm starting to get through them. What is... Okay. Okay, well, okay, some, it got messed up, so let's go ahead and <laughs> a land got put in there. We got a Nixalid and a Liliana's Reaver. I think I actually need that card for another EDH deck uh, that I'm working on. Ravenous Chupacabra. I'm, I keep going off screen here. I I'm, apologize, folks. It's uh, It's been a while since I made a video. Discarding. All right. Anyways, yeah, I cannot wait for that set to come out. Um, there's just going to be minotaurs. Ew. There's going to be so many fun new decks to play because of that set. Um, and we're getting some staple reprints. Like, the one I am so geeked about, and it's not even a big card, Soul Ring. It's almost a guaranteed in most every deck. It really is. Uh, but it's it gets expensive to try to keep up and have a soul ring in every deck, um, especially if you build decks like I do. Um, I've I've got more than one EDH deck. In fact, you can probably add another digit. We got a Sethron uh, Herloon General, and then a Rageblood Shaman. Don't know where any of these are at really. Probably I, like, I know I think I know this one is kind of up there, but. That's the only one I really know the price of. I quickly glanced at prices before I started opening. And I've already forgotten all of it. So, Oh, that's, speaking of forgetting, uh, one thing I did forget to hit on with the whole... Uh, if those of you who have been watching the channel for a while remember, before we took our hiatus, um, I was having an issue with memory. Uh, and they figured out it was from uh, essentially the stress of the bipolar was essentially what we, we came down to so uh we did find out what was going on with that we got an unsubstantiate and then in Inez the gale force if i'm pronouncing that right probably not i'm horrible with that stuff oh dinosaurs this is going to be one for my youngest he's six we just played our first uh, real game the other day, and he is absolutely loving this game. Cultivate, actually, I think I might need one more of those. That's good. Okay. Only one of those crazy lands. All right. We got Drover of the Mighty and Galta, the Primal Hunger. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Let's see if we can do anything good with this. I, I've been opening this wrong the entire time. I just figured it out. It only took me the majority of the box. <laughs> uh, Depart deck hands. Oh, this has got to be pirates. I, I didn't even look. Okay, what do we have? We've got a Charter Course and a Crosshair. Corsair. Captain Crosshair. I don't know, folks. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, man. There we go. That's what I've not been doing. Above the Clouds is, is this one. Go ahead and put those down there. Lofty Denial. I forgot about that card. Okay. And then we got another Unsubstantiate. Can't even speak today. And then we got another uh, Gale Force. Okay. Come on, Elves. Well read. Not sure what to think about that. that curiosity okay okay suspicious bookcase another capture sphere all right 
Ooh, we did get... We got to read the runes. And then we got a mystic archaeologist. Fun stuff. Getting down to the nitty-gritty. Cats. Okay. I can probably be down with whatever this is. Uh, Keeper of Fables, good stuff. Nature's Way. And we got a Feline Sovereign. And Lurking Predators. Well, it's looking like the four mythics uh, for the box is kind of keeping true. Um, or this could just be a bad box. I really don't know. Uh, ooh, Teferi. That looks fun. Okay, okay. Hey, we got another one of those lands. Good stuff. All right. First one is Teferi's Ageless Insight. And I'm out, I'm out of center again. I apologize, folks. And then we got, hey, a Teferi Master of Time. That's fun. Last pack. What do we got? Feathered Friends. So we're not going to see Oracle of Moldiah. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. One more cool land. No. All right. Let's see. We got a common and then we got a steel plumed marshal. All right. Oh, that goes in the wrong. I'll put that in the wrong pile. Well, let's go ahead and recap what we got here. I'll just do a quick look through the uh, through the rares. I honestly have no idea what any of these are at. That one seems like it could be good. Yeah. Galta is always fun. This seems like it could be good too. Yeah. I like I said. Oh, Languish. I mean, that's almost a staple right there uh, for EDH. I said, I honestly don't know what hardly any of these are at. Vast majority, I don't know where they're at. Shacklegeist. I don't know, is Spirit still a deck? It's. I'm kind of out of the loop. And then for Mythics, we did get the Teferi Master of Time. We got the Ghoul Caller Gissa. We got Towering Titan, Chandra, Heart of Fire, and. Uh, Emil, the Blessed, Emil, I could be wrong on how it's pronounced, but then we got these cool, two cool looking lands. Um, I don't know what these are from, but they are pretty cool. Just sharing in this, this semi welcome back video, um, like I said, I'm probably only going to do like maybe a video a month, if that, um, up until the kids go back to regular school. Cause that was essentially when I did most of my uh, recording was when the kids were off at school and now with them being home 24 seven, uh, it just makes it very, very difficult, uh, to get anything <laughs> done. And not just this, literally it makes things, everything so much harder to get done. Uh, but anyways, uh, I digress. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm, I've truly missed the magic community. Uh, and oh, one more quick shout out to those of you that did reach out to me while uh, I was on break. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. It really was. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to coming back and kind of re-getting to know a lot of you. So anyways, uh, if you could do us a huge favor, if you could share this video. Please share this. Um, I'm sure my reach right now is uh, virtually nil because I've been so inactive. So if you could please share this and then share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. 
everyone could use a little more magic in their lives, especially right now. 2020. God love it. Thank you very much for watching, and you can find us on all the social medias, Chuck Wagon MTG.